Today's lesson is on the periodic table, a class engineering project that we'll be working on, on the elements. And then of course, here's our copy of the periodic table. And then I had you try to, uh, we went over the first 10 elements, uh, the atomic number, the symbol, and the element. And I told you that the symbol, if it's one letter, it's capitalized. If it's two letters, it's the first letter is capitalized, the second letter is lowercase. And atomic number one is H for hydrogen. Two is capital H, little e for helium. Atomic number three is capital L, lowercase i for lithium. Atomic number four is capital B, lowercase e for beryllium. Atomic number five is capital B for boron. And then number six, the symbol is capital C for carbon, and we just went over the carbon cycle as well. Uh, atomic number seven is capital N for nitrogen, and the nitrogen cycle as well. And atomic number eight, capital O for oxygen, and then we went over the oxygen cycle. And number nine is capital F for fluorine. And number 10, and the symbol is capital N, lowercase e for neon. And we made neon lights for Halloween. Okay, and then I have the first 10 in order. Try to have some pictures so you have some idea or a picture to try and memorize the first 10, okay? And then I have this small video of the rap song. I'll just play a little bit of it and you're, you'll have the slides yourself. You can watch it yourself. This is on YouTube, uh, the periodic table, Rapping the Elements. too many slides there. Hold on a second. I'm sorry. And then there's also, I have um, a video of a six-year-old saying the uh, periodic table, the song. So she goes through all the elements. You can watch that as well. Okay, so your assignment is to create a periodic table as a class. So I'll share a Google Slides assignment with every student. And you'll be assigned an element for from the periodic table. You'll be responsible for two slides. On the first slide, you'll put your atomic number, the number of protons, the symbol, and name of the element. The next slide, you will explain where would you find your element, what is your element used for, and is it a metal or non-metal. The slides will start with number one, hydrogen, on the periodic table. Look for your number to watch, I'm sorry, to match where to fill in your slide. Once sixth grade uh, completes all of the periodic table, we will view our periodic table. Oh, that I have some extra credit here. Okay, so here's our little contest. Which student can tell me the most elements in a row from the periodic table? The winner will receive a gift card for lunch. I will send it to your house because we are not in session or online. Are you up for the challenge? And I just wanna say, good luck.